am Dr. Father Martin K. M., Principal, St. Thomas College, Autonomous Thrissur. This is one of the oldest colleges in Kerala, established in 1889 as a school and later in 1919 it was raised to the status of a second grade college affiliated to the University of Madras. We had four libraries before COVID in four different parts of our college and during the COVID time we planned for a centralized library and we have named it as Santom Athenaeum. It has been designed by Dr. John Nilagavid CMI, librarian and faculty Dharmaram Vidya Chetra Pontifical Athenaeum, Bangalore. He has taken much pains to design this wonderful library having 42,000 square feet in five floors. All the facilities expected of a modern library can be found here. We have plenty of visitors from all throughout Kerala and even from South India and they come and see the library as a reference point. Recently, we are so glad that a UGC expert committee who came here for the extension of autonomous status also visited our library. It was headed by Professor Shanti Sri D. Pandit, Vice Chancellor of Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, and other members, Professor Madhuliga Agrawal from Banaras Hindu University, Mr. Lalita Balakrishnan, Principal MOP Vaishnav College for Women, Chennai, Dr. K. K. Ramodhan, Principal Government College Malapuram, Dr. M. Manohan, Professor, University of Calicut, and Sri Shyam Singh, Under Secretary, University Grand, Grand Semission. And these six members team visited our library and spent one and a half hours over there. All of them were literally amazed and unanimously appreciated the college for having prepared such a vast and wonderful library complex during the time of pandemic COVID-19. They also remarked that they could find the meeting points of heritage with the modernity and tradition with continuity over here. They also hope that this temple of knowledge will become the heart of St. Thomas College in the coming decades. Our credits goes to Dr. Father John Nilangavil CMI. It was his vision and minute planning, meticulous planning, that has helped us have such a wonderful library. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Father John Nilangavil.